previous president's ongoing legitimate group incorporates a Florida protection attorney who's never had a government case. A previous general guidance for a parking structure organization and a previous One America News half. Previous President Donald Trump and close helpers have spent the days since the FBI looked through his Florida home racing to collect a group of regarded protection legal counselors. Yet, the response they continue to hear is no. The battle to find master lawful guidance places Trump in trouble as he faces likely criminal openness from a records debate with the National Archives that swelled into a government examination of potential infringement of the Espionage Act and different resolutions. Everybody is saying no. Said a conspicuous Republican legal counselor who like and others talked on the state of namelessness to examine secret discussions. Trump is no more unusual to legal procedures. And his scramble to enlist attorneys even with an unfavorable government test reviews his quandary in the mid-year of 2017, when he was under a microscope from exceptional guidance Robert Mueller in the Russia test. Once more, Trump is battling to find a veteran criminal protection legal counselor with a solid history of managing the Justice Department in a rambling, multi-pronged examination. Long-lasting compatriots and counsels of Trump have become stressed over Trump's ongoing stable of attorneys, taking note of that the vast majority of them have almost no involvement with instances of this kind. As per two individuals acquainted with the interior conversations, a Trump representative didn't answer demands for input. The Trump group needs a first-rate, profoundly experienced government criminal specialist, said John Sale, a Florida protection lawyer who dealt with the Watergate indictment group and said he turned down addressing Trump last week since he needed more opportunity to give to the case. You need to assess whether you need to take it. Dislike a Dewey, it's addressing the previous leader of the United States. And perhaps the following one. And what's one of the greatest perceivability cases of all time, commonly. The esteem and exposure of addressing a previous president as well as the new and complex legitimate issues in question for this situation, would draw in powerful lawyers, be that as it may. Trump's hunt is being hampered by his disruptiveness, as well as his standing for stiffing merchants and overlooking guidance. In former times, he would tell firms addressing him was an advantage since they could promote off it. Today it's not something very similar. Said Michael Cohen, a previous legal counselor for Trump who was sentenced for tax avoidance. Offering misleading expressions, crusade finance infringement and deceiving Congress in 2018. He's likewise an undeniably challenging client in that he's continuously testing existing known limits. He seldom pays attention to sound lawful exhortation and he believes you should do things that are not suitable, morally or legitimately. One attorney recounted a story from right off the bat in Trump's administration about individuals from his lawful group encouraging him against tweeting about the Mueller test, just to find he had tweeted about it before they got to the furthest limit of the West Wing carport. A few groups said that Trump was almost difficult to address and that it would be muddled whether they could at any point get compensated. Individuals acquainted with the quest for legitimate assistance said the work incorporates Susie Wiles, a nearby counselor to Trump, and lawyer Christina Bob who was available at Trump's Mar-a-Lago property during the hunt and finished paperwork for the rundown of records taken. Previous mission guide Boris Epstein is playing a noticeable job. And previous White House helper Cash Patel is exhorting casually. Patel is fundraising for a legitimate offense store by selling product. For example, tank tops and beanies embellished with the logo K$ sign H. These folks simply need to fulfill him.